All right, guys, so we are at uh, station one, air pressure stations. How does humidity affect air pressure? And here's what we're gonna do. We are going to represent two samples of air on each side of this scale. Uh, each of those samples of air, what are some things that are in air? Air. Nitrogen. Huh. Nitrogen is a good example of something that's in air. Well, uh, what is the molecular mass of nitrogen? And Siri tells me, Joe, why isn't this actually talking out loud? I have no idea. Um, Come on, Joe. That the atom or molecular mass of nitrogen is about 28. So we're going to put 28 on our chart there for the molecular mass of nitrogen. AMU, atomic mass units. No naked number. I could also ask Siri, what is the atomic mass? No, that's not what I want. I want. The button on the left side. What is the molecular mass of oxygen? And it will tell me the molecular mass of oxygen is 32 atomic mass units. Okay. We are going to represent nitrogen as orange golf balls. So see where it says ball there? I want you to write golf. Golf. So. For all of them? No, for nitrogen. Uh, I'm going to put three nitrogen molecules in each sample of air. We are going to represent uh, oxygen by pink golf balls. So oxygen gets golf ball. Oh, so So, is there any water vapor in either of these samples right now? No. No, all there is is the orange golf ball nitrogens and the pink golf ball oxygens. Uh, the two samples of air with the five molecules each, do they weigh the same or different? Same. same. How are you proving that to yourself right now? Because it's balanced. They're right. Balanced. We're balanced out. This we're saying is dry air. There's no water vapor. There's no moisture here. However, when we get in some water vapor, um, what is the molecular mass of water? And Siri tells me it is, you'll do this all in high school chemistry class, this molecular mass stuff, uh, 18. So out of all the molecules we use here, which ones are lighter? Water. water. The water molecules are much, much lighter. So we're going to represent the water molecules by, let's call these ping pong balls. They're plastic golf balls, but they're much, much lighter. Why are these a good model of water? Well, they're much lighter. Let's write ping pong ball up there, Helen. That would be awesome. I just didn't have ping pong balls with me. But, pretty good example of what a ping pong ball is. So, when, water, when air becomes moist, when air becomes humid, it gets water vapor molecules. But those water vapor molecules don't just slide in. They actually push some oxygen and nitrogen molecules out of the way. So this sample of air, I'm going to replace an oxygen and a nitrogen molecule with two water molecules. Now, who pushes down harder? Dry air or wet air? Dry. Dry air. So if you're standing underneath these two samples of air, when are you going to feel more pressure in dry air or wet air? Dry. You're going to feel more pressure in dry air. So, um, as humidity goes up, and this is what you guys are going to write, as humidity goes up, pressure goes down. down. This water with the water vapor, or this air with the water vapor is not pushing down as hard. It has a lower pressure. So again, as humidity goes up, Air pressure goes down. Now is where you need to get in with this a little bit. Why? Because water has less atomic, like it weighs less. Water weighs less. Water is a light molecule. Okay? So if I put water into air, that air is obviously going to become a little bit lighter. So write a big old Y there and say water is a less massive or lighter molecule. And you can stop taking.